dozens of families in Riru, Gua Korea village in Mai Mahi on Akuru County are tonight mourning the death of loved ones as they try to come to terms with the tragedy that has rendered them homeless. At least 45 people have been confirmed dead and over 100 others are nursing injuries following flash floods that swept several homes in the wake of the ongoing heavy rains pounding the country. The county governments of Kiambu, Nakuru are now coming together with Kenya Red Cross Society in a bid to search and rescue those feared dead. More bodies, of course, could be buried in, uh, in, in a sludge. Yusuf Farah opening our coverage tonight with that disturbing story. This massive destruction is what residents of Riru Gwakurea village in Maimahi woke up to Monday morning following heavy rains on Sunday night. <laughs> Dozens of lives lost, several houses destroyed and roads rendered impassable. Families frantically searching for their missing loved ones. Survivors recalling the events leading up to the tragedy. In the aftermath, many are mourning with no possession and depending on humanitarian aid from the national and county governments. Mm. Well, the Kenya Red Cross Society confirmed 45 persons perished and over 100 others admitted in nearby health facilities. Tumekuja na matrices kalibu elfu moja, tumekuja na blanketi, tumekuja na chakula, na tutaendelea kulete chakula zaidi, tutaendelea kusaidia, mpaka tuone ya kwamba hatupotezi maisha. Your Excellency, tukona watu kama mia moja na kumi wenye wako kwa mahospitali in different status. Wengine tumetuma uko kijabe, wenye pengine fractures ziko other issues. Wengine tumetuma hapa naivasha referral hospital wenye wana need a lot of medical help. Uko mbele kuna mahali hakuna mti nasimama hakuna nyumba hata ya magorofa. Kwa hivyo we fear there are still bodies down there. This even as the Ministry of Water and Sanitation dismissed claims of the flooding being caused by a breaching of a dam. In a press statement, the ministry clarified that the flooding was a result of a blockade tunnel that was to channel River Tongi on the railway line. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, who condoled with families that lost their loved ones, says the national government will continue to monitor the situation and prioritize urgent interventions in affected areas. Don't dare nature. Kwa sababu mimi naona na ninasikia nina uzuni sana. Watu wakitembea wanakuta pahali maji iko na fujo. Inatembea ikiwa na fujo mingi sana. Wagali wanaelekeza ngari huko dani, imebeba watu, wanasobwa na maji, wanapotesha maisha yao, wanawacha familia zao zikiumia. Survivors of the Mai Mahiu tragedy are being accommodated at Ngea Primary School near Mai Mahiu town. Meanwhile, the death toll from Sunday night's flash floods in Sindio Suba South Sub-County, Homa Bay County, has risen to four after authorities recovered the body of a child on Monday. Suba Deputy County Commissioner Peter Okiring says about 100 houses were destroyed. We have had um, the County Disaster Management Committee, which is a multi-agency team that has worked around the clock to mobilize resources to support the families that have been displaced, the families that have been injured. Even as the search and rescue operations continue in this area, Kenyans living on flood-prone areas are being urged to move urgently to prevent any further losses of lives. Yusuf Far reporting for Prime Petition in the county of Nakuru.